The comparison I have for you guys today is the Dr. BFF versus the original BFF from Jujubee. a lot of questions about these two bags in particular and how they compare. So before we finish off Bagtoberfest, I had to compare these two styles. First off, let's just look at the size of both of the bags. The Dr. BFF is gonna be a little bit bigger than the original BFF. You can see here that it's taller. Um, let's look at the width of the bags and see if it's wider. They're actually kind of similar in size towards the bottom here, but the BFF does kind of have a triangular shape so it gets smaller towards the top, whereas the Dr. BFF kind of keeps a wider shape the whole way up. Here are the base of the bags, which is also very similar. Um, the only difference really that I see is that the BFF does not have a center foot like the um, Dr. BFF does. I know it's kind of hard to tell because of this pattern, but there are five feet here on the bottom of the Dr. BFF, um, whereas there's only four on the BFF. Another thing I wanted to note is the handle at the top of the bag is different. Um, on the top of the BFF, you have a soft kind of padded um, handle here. And then for the Dr. BFF, there's actually two handles. They're more of a seatbelt strap material and they fold down against the bag. Okay, let's talk about the straps. You have very similar strap options for both bags. So both of them do have a, a messenger strap. They both come with a non-slip shoulder pad. You can see on both bags there and they attach a little bit differently. Um, on the BFF, you have hardware on both sides of the bag, whereas on the Dr. BFF, instead of having it on the sides, because the zipper is kind of in the way there, they have added those D-rings onto the very back. Now, I tend to like the placement of the regular BFF just because it's wider. It gives you more room to get the shoulder strap on. But honestly, it's not a huge deal. They're both very comfortable to wear. You can wear them both either over your shoulder or crossbody. Now, looking at the backpack straps, very, very similar backpack straps. In fact, almost identical with the placement of where the D-rings are on the back. The only difference that I see is on the bottom of the um, BFF, you're... D-rings are attached at the base here, whereas on the Dr. BFF, your D-rings are kind of more on the side, and they do have that extra fabric here so that it's a little bit more comfortable on your back. So for the BFF down here, for the Dr. more to the side. But again, both straps are super nice and comfortable. They're ergonomically shaped, so it's gonna be a good placement on everybody's back, and then it does have a mesh backing on both of the straps to keep you nice and cool. What's really nice is, as you can see, all of the straps straps are removable, so if you just wanted to wear the bag over your shoulder and you didn't want those backpack straps hanging there, you can definitely take those off. Since we are here, let's look at the back of the bags. On the BFF, you do have a slip pocket. Um, what's really nice about Jujubee is they have these little crumb pockets here, so if you do get crumbs in your bag, you can easily push those right out. The um, Dr. BFF has a similar pocket, but it's a little bit different. Um, there is a luggage sleeve, first of all, and then there is a regular pocket. Now this pocket does not have any crumb holes. Here they both are again from the side. They both have elastic water bottle pockets here. They both are insulated, so they're gonna keep your bottles warm or cold. And they do fit similar sized water bottles. Let's look really quickly at the organization that you get on the front of the bag. Both of them have tech pockets. The Dr. BFF is right here. Now, this zipper is not as wide as the one that you get on the BFF, but my phone fits in here just fine vertically. Let me see how it fits into the BFF. Um, 
yeah, it fits in vertically and horizontally as well. So I think the BFF has a little bit bigger of a tech pocket. And what I mean by tech pocket is it is a felt line pocket. So it's really perfect for your cell phone. Now, both of the bags have a round zippered opening here, but something that the doctor has that the regular version doesn't is this front zippered section. So it's a nice, thin, slim pocket. This is the perfect place to throw in some extra wipes or receipts, things like that into here. They both actually have a double zippered opening, which is always great. As you can see, this mommy pocket is a bit bigger than the one that you get on the BFF. It's taller, it's wider but they still give you a ton of organization to work with inside of the BFF. So I have the doctor all packed up. So what I plan to do is kind of take the things out of here and we can see how they fit into the regular version. So you have two mesh pockets back here. You have a key leash, which I have attached my keys to. In this pocket, I'm keeping my mask and some gum. And then I'm also just keeping a tight to go pen in there. Now on the front wall, you have a zippered section and then also an elastic pocket. In this elastic pocket, I am keeping my wallet from Jujube. They're so soft, so pretty. I love their vegan leather. It's really nice. And then in this zipper pocket over here, I found this is the perfect place to throw in all of my lip products. I had plenty of room here in the center for a large wallet. So if you're somebody who likes to carry a large wallet, this would be a great bag for you. Let me just switch these really quickly and throw in these items into this pocket so you can see how they fit. So I have those lip glosses there that I will put into this slip pocket. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do the same thing and put it in the zippered section. So I'm gonna put those back here. What's nice about the BFF is it does have a sunglasses case for you. And usually I'll put like a pen or tied to go pen in there. So I'm gonna throw that into that pocket and attach my keys onto the key leash and just put that down into the center. I'm going to put my wallet back there and then my mask and the gum into that slip pocket on the front. So you can see it's all just a little bit more compact, but everything still fits fine. If I did have a pair of sunglasses here, I really wouldn't wanna put much more in this center space. But since I usually keep my sunglasses in my car, um, I definitely think you could fit a larger wallet in the center here as well. For the main portion of the bag, they both have double zippers again. And what's really cool about the BFF is it opens towards the front. You can see there are some gussets on the side to kind of hold everything in. And once the bag is fully packed, I don't feel like it ever tips over because you have it packed up and those items hold it down. But as you can see, the bag does come with a changing pad and that is the case for the Dr. BFF as well. What's cool about the Dr. BFF is it actually has a wire framed opening. So the zipper goes all the way down on the sides here. And when you open it up, it's like a big, huge rectangle. And as you can see, I don't even have this bag fully packed. I could fit way more on top here. So this is definitely a nice roomy bag. Again, like I mentioned, I just have the changing pad sitting in this pocket that's right here across the front wall. In that pocket, I also am keeping some wipes. It's like half a package of wipes there. On both sides of the bag, you have really nice big um, pockets, and these are elastic pockets. This is my 24 ounce water bottle, and that fits into there no problem. You saw the bag zipped up just fine, so I love that that fits on the interior of the bag. I have kind of a bigger blanket than what I would usually carry, like a muslin blanket. This is actually from Jujube. I was curious if it fit in there. It's from their new collection. It's the Juju Jams. If you haven't seen them, the Jujube Jams, they're so cute. They're holiday pajamas. Um, this one is really fun. I'm excited to show you guys all of the styles with my family um, wearing them. But this is just a really cute little blanket and the material is so nice and soft, but that fits in there in that other nice big side pocket. So on the back wall of the bag, you have a zippered pocket and then two more elastic pockets. In this zippered pocket, I am keeping my um, charger for my phone. Then in this pocket on this side, I have um, a little toy for my daughter. She loves these things. And then I also have my Kindle. Then in this last pocket, I'm keeping a few busy things for her, a notepad with a pen, and then also a couple of boogie board options. Then just sitting down in the center, I have two more items. I have the large piece from the B-Set and the medium piece. 
in the large piece. This is kind of like my toiletries and med kit needs. So you can see, I've talked about this before. I have all my little toiletries in there. And then both of these coin purses, I'm keeping band-aids. And then in this one, I'm keeping hair stuff. And then in the medium piece, this is the perfect place to throw in all of our snacks. So again, there's a look at both of the interiors empty. Okay, let's see how I can fit all those items in here. My water bottle is one of the biggest things and I believe it does fit. Just kind of tucked into the corner. I'll also throw in my boogie boards back there into that back pocket. I have my portable charger. There's a zippered pocket right here that I think this would fit in. Oh, it's a little bit too big to zip it closed, but I think I'll still keep that right there. I think I could fit this back into this back pocket where, cause the pocket's big enough. My water bottle's just a little in the way there, but yeah, that does fit. I'll throw my Kindle and then also that little um, fidget toy into that pocket on that side. Now I still have the blanket. Let me see if that will fit into here. Yeah, it actually will. That pocket is nice and roomy and that holds the blanket really well against that side of the bag. I'm just going to put the set pieces in kind of side by side, one in front of the other. There is a zippered pocket right here in the front of the BFF and then you do actually have two places to put other items or pictures right here in these clear windows. But the only items I have left to put in are the changing pad and then also my wipes. So I think I'm just gonna throw my wipes in right there in the front. I actually have a little bit more room there on top. The doctor definitely had a little more room there at the top. This is all a little more compact even though it does still all fit just fine. I like that on the back of the BFF, the changing pad fits into here really well and offers me a little more um, padding when I'm wearing it backpack style. Just for fun, let me see if the changing pad will fit into this back pocket. Hmm, it actually is a little bit more snug, which is kind of interesting. I think it will fit. It's a, it is just a little bit tighter. Um, I think the back pocket here is a little bit wider, which is interesting because I think that the Doctor is a wider bag in general, um, but with a little squishing, it will fit into that back section and then you can still use this as a luggage sleeve. So there you go, one more look at both of the bags. Now that the BFF is all packed up, we can see their sizes a little bit better. I think that the Dr. BFF holds its shape and structure a little bit better than the BFF. And with these two bags, it may just be because the chromatics fabric that I have this one in is a little bit softer and more movable, whereas this one is the regular standard jujube fabric. That tends to be a little bit more of a crisp kind of straight fabric. I hope that was helpful and gave you guys a good idea of what um, both of these bags could fit. They're both awesome styles with great organization. So if you do have any questions, please leave those down in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer those for you. Jujubee actually just announced a couple of new exciting prints. So I'm really excited to receive those and share those with you guys super soon. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for hanging out with me for today's comparison and I will see you soon in my next one.